but first... I remember seeing a picture of him, and it kind of startled me. An infamous serial killer is now being linked to the Oakland County child killer case. The unsolved case that has horrified the public. We have new information tonight in the Oakland County child killer case. Tonight we hear from the man who says he saw one of the last victim's moments before he was abducted, and he is only talking to 7 Action News. He says there may be a connection to serial killer John Wayne Gacy. 7 Action News investigator Bill Proctor has the story. John Wayne Gacy abducted and murdered dozens of boys in the 70s. We now know that Gacy was in Michigan around the time the Oakland County child killer abductions took place. 7 Action News talked exclusively to a man who believes Gacy could have been involved. And, and I remember seeing a picture of him, and it kind of startled me. You know, I thought that, God, that could be the guy, you know. He could be... Uh, you know, somebody involved in this. Doug Wilson says he saw the Oakland County child killer's last victim moments before he was abducted. Wilson, who now lives in California, was living in Troy when four children were kidnapped and murdered here. He talked to us today via Skype. The Oakland County child killer's last victim was Tim King, who was abducted in Birmingham. Wilson says he saw King just before he was nabbed. I noticed uh, a young man uh, probably in his late, maybe late uh, 20s, talking to um, what I found out later was Timmy King. The other man he remembers from that night was sitting in a car, and he says looked remarkably like Gacy, who was known to have had an accomplice, a younger man. And uh, the description of the younger man, it was interesting, it was kind of like the guy I had seen talking to Timmy King. Wilson says when he talked to the FBI agents back then, they told him that they had suspected that the Oakland County child killer did not work alone. They were also excited about the fact that I, I had, you know, that, that there were probably two people involved. The other information Wilson revealed that deeply interested the FBI, he says, was details about the car that night. It was not a blue gremlin, like it was widely believed, but a Pontiac Le Mans two-door. Light pastel green or blue color, you know, in that range. It was Tim King's dad, Barry King, who tracked down Wilson last spring. And that was the first time that he learned Wilson had talked with the FBI 36 years ago. The interesting thing to me is the fact that this car designer identified the Le Mans as being there. And the FBI acknowledged to him in 77 that they knew that. And Bill Proctor joins us now. What do Oakland County prosecutors think about a possible connection with Gacy here? Of course, we're hearing from Pontiac and the prosecutor, Jessica Cooper, who says that the task force is looking into it, but believes that it is, quote, pie in the sky and is highly doubtful that he had anything to do with the Oakland County child killer case. And you've got more coming up for us tonight at 6 o'clock as well. We do indeed. Of course, uh, a lot of this is being handled by the uh, sheriff's office in uh, Cook County that's right. uh, around Chicago. They may have evidence that we don't know about as yet, but of course uh, we will in fact be talking uh, more about that uh, very soon. Tonight at 6, you will hear more about the Tudor Le Mans and just how Doug Wilson believes that he could have helped save Timmy King oh, that was way back then. What a tough thing for him to have to live with all these years, right? Yes, it is a we'll... strong consideration for him. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you, Bill, very much.